Hey guys, it's me, Batfam here, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.5.1, or any other version, to be honest, even iOS 14 beta, on with CheckRain. And um, this is only going to work on older devices like iPhone 5S to the iPhone X. So if you want to check where your uh, chipset is on your i uh, on your i device, just Google your your device. I have an iPad 6, and then search up the chip like that. And it will show right there, like, I have an Apple A10, or like iPhone X chip. It's iOS Bionic, so this one works. Uh, stuff like the iPhone XR, I believe this is too much, or too over. Chipset, full A12 Bionic, the A12 is an up, don't work. So, um, that's really it. Let's get started. I'm going to have both these things in the description below. All you're going to need is a USB, with around at least a gigabyte available on it. And keep in mind that this method for Windows, um, this will uh, format all your files inside your USB. Also, if you have a, Win a Mac or Linux, then um, you just uh, go to this timestamp that I just put just now, and it'll basically have the same. You, just, you need to download CheckRain on those devices because they're already supported. Windows is not supported by CheckRain yet, so it's a work around it with this method. Anyways, go ahead and download Rufus from this link. Let's go to the GitHub for the boot rate and just choose your uh, choose your CPU architecture and the uh, the live CD of it. I think most, no, pretty much all CPUs these days are 64-bit. So if you don't know your your architecture, there's ways to check on Windows. Um, Basically, uh, I think you go to right click on your Windows logo system and it'll show you everything about your uh, system. Right here, I have a 64 bit. So, yep. Anyways, let's go ahead and open Rufus. Allow this. And then we're going to have, we're gonna make sure your USB is selected. Keep in mind, once again, that this will format your USB and remove all the data in your USB. Select your disk or ISO, and choose the boot ring ISO that you just installed. Keep it on FAT32. FAT um, boot rain does not support NTFS. I tried it earlier, and it does not support it. Doesn't really matter if you have uh, a 32 gigabit. USB or an 8 gigabyte USB, whatever, just keep it on FAT32. This can just stay the same. When it's ready, press start. And I'm just going to write press OK and press OK. If it, if it asks for prompts, just put yes and OK. I, uh, I already have some files installed for Rufus, so it, it didn't ask me, but it will definitely ask you that you need to download some files. And just press yes for that. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it's done. This will take around like two, three minutes ish. Um, it'll take longer for the bigger the USB you, you have, shorter for the smaller USB you have. I have a pretty hefty 32 gigabyte USB, so it's gonna take a bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna pause this for now. Once it's done, it's gonna say ready right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna now I'm going to have to turn off my PC and enter the BIOS. If you don't know how to enter your BIOS, it's usually either F2, spamming F2, spamming F12, or spamming delete. But there's a lot of ways. So you should probably um, Google your motherboard or your, um, if you have a pre-built computer or laptop, Google your laptop or computer model and then how to enter the BIOS. I built my PC, so I can't guarantee that my way will work, but for me, it's spamming the Dell key. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the computer now, and I'm going to be uh, recording with my phone from now on because I can't record my BIOS with the screen uh, screen recording software. So I'm on my iPad here, as you can see. I'm just going to show this to you right now. I am on iOS version 13.5.1. Uh, so anyways, on a computer, go ahead and turn it on and enter your BIOS right away. For me, I enter my BIOS by pressing delete. It might show how to enter the BIOS on the loading screen. Like right here, it, sees, it says enter BIOS 
with delete right there. So I'm spamming it like that. And then go ahead and you're gonna try to find the part where it says um, boot override. For me, it's on save and exit, but it might be in other places for you guys. So yeah, put that in mind. You wanna go ahead and choose, this is my guess right here, PMAP. You wanna choose the UEFI PMAP, partition one, or UEFI, whatever name of your USB, and then hit enter. Hit enter again for USB safe. And I think it's gonna transition to my other screen, but I'll give it a second. Yeah, I think it's over here now. So I was gonna do this cool stuff. Um, just give it a second. So it's gonna ask for a login, put an A on. I will put all the instructions on text on screen right now. So for the password, put void Linux. And then right there on this one, you put sudo um, check brain. And this will pop up with a very minimal version of check brain. For Mac and Linux users, it's gonna look way cleaner, but it still has the same options and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and plug in our device now. So I have my device connected to my computer right here. And as you can see, the start button is gonna be grayed out. That's because it says that iPad OS or iOS 13.5.1 is not supported yet. It is working just fine, trust me. I, uh, check Rain is not patchable by newer iOS versions, luckily, because it changes a different um, boot setting. Whereas Uncovered tries to change a kernel that um, can be patched in iOS versions. Um, but Check Rain, what it does is it patches the silicon in chipsets. I, that's how I believe it works. I am stupid, so don't trust me. Anyways, hit options, turn on allow te un allow untested iOS slash iPad OS versions. And this is just for fun, but turn on verbose boot. It just makes it look cool. <laughs> Back and press enter on start. Okay. Next. So it's gonna enter recovery mode. As you can see, it's gonna do it right now. And there we go, we're carrying it on there. All right, so this is gonna give you instructions on how to enter DFU mode. Uh, we're gonna have different instructions if you're using a phone, iPod, or iPad. So just follow the instructions right away. When you press start, it's gonna go straight through the instructions and you just have to follow them. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I'm in DFU mode now and you're gonna see that it's just booting into tech rain. So I just watch this. And you're gonna see some cool stuff happen. There you go. That's just verbose butte. It's just it just looks cool, but it's completely like unnecessary. <laughs> Don't unplug your device during the entire process, obviously. You're gonna cause some bricks and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's gonna say USB error on check grain once it's done. That's fine, just press done. And then uh press quit. And then four shut on your PC, so I'm just going to hold the power button. And then just unplug the USB. We're on my iDevice now. When you have Checkmate installed, click on Cydia. And just press install Cydia. I already have it on, so it's not going to install it again. But uh, yeah, that's really it. As you guys see, it works completely fine. I'm going to have to load it in. Yep, I have sources. A lot of sources here, Hack Your iPhone, very popular one. I also have like tweaks installed, like uh, YouTube tools right there. So yeah, that's really it. Thanks for watching guys. This has also worked on iOS 14 beta by the way. I forgot to mention this in the video. Or actually, I, th I think I did mention it, but I'm gonna go more into detail. This would probably work on any iOS version that comes out, as long as you make sure that you uh, go to the options of check rain and turn off use tested versions of the iOS. This seems to work on every version so far, and I don't think it will ever get patched on lower devices. As for the devices that are using 8.12 and up, you will have to wait for uh, 
You have to wait for uncover. All right, that's all. Thank you for watching.